Amen. This is another Wednesday. God has enabled us again to see it again. It's God who has enabled us. There are so many causes. 
ambazo zingekuzuia that could stop you not to come to church lakini Mungu ameondoa but God has removed them kila kizuizi all the obstacles na kila kikwazo barabarani all the offenses on the road akakuleta kanisani and has brought you to church lengo upate kusikia the idea so that you may hear Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Na ukiona umekuja kanisani, you see yourself coming to church. Mungu amekwisha kutayarisha. God has already prepared. Neno kwa ajili yako. The word for your sake. Lako ni kusikia. Yours is to hear. Lako ni kusikia. Yours is to hear the word. Mimi huanza sana ule mwanamke. I normally think of a damsel. Ngwa pepo. That one was filled with the devil of pepo yake ile. So the demons ilitoka haraka sana got out very fast kwa sababu ya moyo wake because of her heart kwa pamoja na wahubiri being together with the preachers yeye ni muganga kweli she is a physician and she is so saying lakini akiona paulo na sila ni hawa she sees paul and silas coming she has forsaken her work of society anatoka nje she comes outside anatukuza mungu wakina paulo glorifies god of paul anawaambia watu is telling people watu hao these people ni watumishi wa Mungu aliyejua and the servants of God who is most high wa wa watu, who preach to people mambo ya wokovu the words of salvation alafu anarudia kazi yake then she goes back to so saying kesho ndio hawa tomorrow they are here coming anarudia tena she repeats again watu hao these people ni watumishi wa Mungu aliyejua and the servants of God who is the most wa wa high mambo ya wokovu who preach to people about the words of salvation afanya hivyo siku nyingi she did us for so many days oh ya paulo akasikitika the spirit of Paul was so much sad. Paul was so much sad. Why is she serving the devil? But whenever she sees us, she's uplifting our God. He knew this one here. She has something precious in her. As when Paul stood up and rebuked the devil, and the Bible says, the demon got out that very moment. Why? Mana moyo wake because a heart ulikuwa pamoja na wahubiri was together with the preachers wakainua Mungu wa Paulo they uplifted God of Paul Bwana Yesu asiwe sana amen hata hivi sasa even right now neno tayari nimekwisha kuneno the kunenu. word has it been prepared ili ufaulu for you to succeed ili ufanikiwe for you to prosper sikiliza mhubiri anenapo listen when the preacher speaks tembea na yeye walk with him anaonya tembea na yeye when he's warning walk with him anafundisha tembea na yeye when he's teaching walk with him Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Tembea na yeye. Walk with him. Anashuhudia tembea na yeye. If he's testifying, walk with him. Usimwache. Don't forsake him. Ah. No. Usimwache. Don't forsake him. Tembea na yeye. Walk with him. Ndio ukitoka hapa. As when you leave this place. Utakao unatoka na yale maneno. You live with the words. Aliyo yana na yeye. That is spoke. Na haya kutokana na nafsi yake. And they never came from his own soul. Bali yanatoka kwa Mungu wa. But they come from God of the founder. Ndani ya mtumishi wake. Inside his servant. Bwana Yesu asiwe sana. Amen. Kwa hivyo tuko tayari. So we are ready. Jioni ya leo. This evening. Tumshikilize. To hear. Yale yote ambayo whatever Mungu anataka tuyasikie. God wants us to hear. Yamekwisha kuwekwa. Yes. Prepare the word. Na tayari, and they are very much ready. Kwa nini Why should we delay him? Let's board on our heads. So mapema. that you give him a chance early. Aweze kunena na sisi. To speak to us. Baba ni nakushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mbingu na nchi. Mungu wa mama mwanzilishi katika mtumishi wako Bwana. Ni nakushukuru mwokozi mwema kwa upendo wako mkuu. Asante kwa ujumbe wa jioni ya leo ambao tayari Bwana umeuweka. Dani ya mnenaji bwana ninakushukuru na ifungua ibada hii mikono ni mwako nikiamini Mungu wa mwanzilishi uko pamoja nasi ni katika jina la Yesu Kristu mokozi wetu Amen Asante bwana Yesu Asante bwana Yesu kwa hivyo tulia mahali ulipo. So be calm wherever you are. Neno linakuja pale pale. The word is coming right there. Inatembelea kila mtu. It's visiting everybody. Kila mtu achukue lake. Everyone to take his portion. Kila mtu achukue lake. Everyone to take his portion. Kila mtu achukue lake. Everyone to take his share. Karibu Pastor Rimba. Welcome Pastor Rimba. Uje unene na sisi. Come and talk to us. Huu ni wakati wako this, sasa. This is your time now. Haya masani yako. These are your hours. Ongee na sisi. Talk to us. Sisi tuko hapa. We are here. Tuko tayari kusikiliza. We are ready to hear. Kila utakalonena. Whatever will speak. Sisi tunapokea. We are receiving. Bana tunajua linatoka kwa Mungu. Because we know it's come from God. Karibu Pastor Rimba. Welcome Pastor Rimba. Karibu sana. Welcome so much. Karibu sana. Welcome. Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana wapendwa. Jioni njema Mungu wa mwanzilishi ametuleta pamoja. It's a good evening that God of the founders brought us together. Maombi ya mtumishi wake by the press of his servant. Tumelindwa tangu Jumapili. We've been secured right from Sunday. 
Till we've been brought together again this evening. So that you may remind each other. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We remind each other. We've had a lot to save us. But the servant of God Moses was told every Sabbath day remind my people. So we have also had a lot. But a human being is very easy to forget. Hallelujah. That's why you are given this day through the founder Everyone is we, we gather together on Thursday and on Sunday because the word of God is the one that saves us. Hallelujah. So when we are brought in such a manner, the servant of God normally says we are traveling. We are traveling, spiritual journey, seeking for the continual city. The city we have on earth is not permanent. We eat and drink and sleep in a very good place and have all good things on earth. This is not a permanent city. We are seeking for the continual city, a heavenly city. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! That city is permanent forever and ever. But that, this city is not permanent. Hallelujah. It's not permanent. See yourself wake, sleeping and waking up, say thank you God. You eat and take and drink, say thank you God for giving you the food. But all our diligence to come an evening that we could be resting at home. Why all this time? We are seeking for the continual city. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are seeking for the continual city forever and ever. So salvation it means choice. A continual city there forever and ever. But for you to read to that city, you must make choice. There are so many objections on earth. So many for you not to enter that city. But one, one was made choice. Even if all those objections come, he won't see them as anything to him. One was made a choice. When he gets to objection, but he has made a choice to inherit the continual city forever and ever. Even if he gets to objections of this earth, He'll say that is nothing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he has made a choice. The sin will come before you. But one who has made a choice will never partake in that sin. He's human. He's eating and drinking. But will never partake in that sin. Because he has made a choice to inherit the continual city forever and ever and ever. Amen. Amen. What have you chosen? I chose right from the time I was a youth, a very teenage boy in class 6. I see people singing. I saw them singing in 1965 but I was still a young boy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I they gone to school. But the elders feared to take their children to school. And hizo, During that time, I used to hear Mombasa, that in Mombasa there's a white man watu, anapona, ziwete, praying to people. people. They are getting healed, the lame, the blind. Mujini, kuna yangu, yake, baba. In that city, I have my aunt. Nikipofu, She's blind, she doesn't see. Kwa. But I'm told that one was taken there. But she was not here, then she came back. During that time, the gospel had a lot of revival. They are singing on the way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was still a young boy. I'm just sitting there listening to them. 
The one threatened me when they were preaching. Is that what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for to be saved? I don't know the hour or the time when the Son of Man comes back. And will come up with all the relations like thunder descending to take his people. So they are preaching that way. That way they are facing up. They are filled with anointment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I also feel the condemnation in my heart. I'm not saved truly. My father was stopping me to be saved. But I feel the condemnation that if in heaven there's fire. For heaven ever. Tena, kuna peponi. And again there's paradise. Oh. I feel like the fire will come down and burn me. Wapi, kijana. Where will you be young boy? Wapi, Where will you be Siku old hiyo. man? During that time. Hiyo, they say that house. It's like a funeral. Wale 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 People seek for that house and that house. But there's one house. It's in heaven. So I feared. Hallelujah. I was truly a boy. But I feared where will I be during that time. In 1976. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I used to run away from the saved people. Such an evening like this. At four they on the way testifying. They look for a place in a junction. They, they testify, Jesus is saving. We, we come from school with our bags. I feel the condemnation in my heart. You are not saved. Where will you be that day? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where will you be during the end days? For me to be saved, but I'm still a boy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I've not known the world. I used to sit with my colleagues, they say those who are saved are old. They squander their time. They spend all their time. With the world. That's why they are saved. For us to be saved, we are still young men. But I feel the condemnation in my heart. When Jesus comes today, where will I be? Hallelujah. I heard them from 1965. But in January 1976, the condemnation came. I feel like, should I die today, where will I go? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was not forced or incited by anyone. I had problems truly. Diseases are so there. But what pulled me to salvation? To be saved from hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because when they were preaching, I used to see truly there's fire in Then I chose salvation to follow the Lord Jesus. I went myself to my uncle's house. I've made a choice that way. I know the world. There's clubs there. There's all kind of fornication. I used to walk at night following my elderly brothers. My elderly brothers. When they hear there's a funeral in Gotani, they go there. I also follow them. They ask me, where are you going? Where are you going? Don't disturb us. So one is, I've chosen to follow because I want those from there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They are going there trance night and dance all the native songs. The sleep is there because I've made a choice to follow them. I'll not sleep. But time when I'm coming back. We come at three, at three at night. I'm asleep while walking. My elderly brother we were born two and remain the same. 
When he was sleeping, Nalala, was I'm sleeping, but I'm not missing the way. It's a very big group walking. I follow the noise while sleeping. And he me while sleeping, I tell him, I'm not sleeping. He's monitoring me not to get lost. Because the one will be asked. That's why salvation means making a choice. We are on the journey seeking for the continual city, the heavenly kingdom forever and ever. And whoever has made a choice, one who has made a choice, doesn't partake in the worldly last, we'll never find him there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God enabled me to choose in 1976. So evil things are there. Difficulties are there. To make one not to be saved. But one was made a choice. In all that, we'll never see them as anything. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So, what have you chosen? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What have you chosen? One was made a choice will not partake in everything. Read for us Deuteronomy 30. What have you chosen? Because we're on the journey. We are on the journey. We're on the journey. We are traveling to seek the continual city forever and ever permanent home. As the Bible says in Hebrews, on earth, we don't have a continual city, but you are seeking for the one to come. Read for us Hebrews, Deuteronomy 30, Deuteronomy 30, 16. Na zishuhudiza mbingu na inchi juyenu hivileo, kuwa nimekuekea mbele yako uzima na mauti, baraka na lana, basi chagua uzima ili uwe hai, uwewe na uzao wako. Kumpenda mwana, mungu wako, kuiti sauti yake na kushirikiana na ye, kwani hiyo, Ndiyo uzima wako na wingi wa siku zako upate kukaa katika inchi bwana aliyowapia baba aliyowapia baba zako Ibrahimu na Isaka na Yakobo kuwa atawapa See I have set before thee his day life and good and death and evil in that I command thee this day to love the Lord thy God to walk in his ways and to keep his commandments and his statutes and his judgments, that thou mayest live and multiply, and the Lord thy God shall bless thee in the land whither thou goest to possess it. Amen. Amen. Anasema, he says, I've kept before you life and blessings, death Chagua. and life. Make a choice. Make a choice of life. And choosing life means loving the Lord God. And going according to his will. Going according to his commandments. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What have you chosen? What have you chosen? Today you are here this evening. What have you chosen? Because you are seeking for the continual city forever and ever. That is not worn out. Hallelujah. The license to get to that city is loving God. And loving God is separating yourself from evil. Evil things are there. The world is there full of evil. Those to offend are there. To make you cheat are there. 
nguvu za dhambi ziko kila uovu uko lakini aliyechagua one was made a choice alijitenga na hayo will separate himself from all that na yuko anayeweza kututia nguvu tuweze one who is able to strengthen you ni Mungu katika Kristo Yesu bwana wetu it's god in christ our lord nikawa kule kilifi kule i was in kilifi kisima wakati huo kimejaa mabaya yote during that time the town was full of kulikuwa na mtambo wa korosho hapo we had a cushion factory wa mama wa kila aina walio acha wake zao all kind of ladies who are single weupe kwa weusi wale kwa fupi black tall and short wembamba kwa wazito all those who are fat and lean mtambo huo ulikuwa umeandika wa mama kwa wingi huo that factory employed so many ladies Kilifi wakati huo Kilifi during that time Mwaka wa 89 na tisa, sabini na tinane, kuendelea huko na tisa. 1989 hey, ilikuwa imezoa wa mama wengi It had gathered so many ladies Haleluya Haleluya Wakati huo ndio naishi hapo nasoma That was the time I was schooling there Lakini Mungu akawa amenisaidia kuchagua But God enabled me to make a choice Haleluya Haleluya ndio nakushuhudia siku moja as i testified to you one day nimetoka kununua mafuta ya taa na nikasome from buying the paraffin to study vijana wenzangu wawili i had my colleagues two of them tumekodisha nyumba moja we had rented one room chumba kimoja wawili mimi ni watatu one room was a third person wao wanatoka malindi mimi natoka kilifi they come from malindi they come from kilifi tume nimeenda kununua mafuta ya taa siku moja i've gone to buy the paraffin one day dhambi iko mpaka uikimbie wewe sin is this until you run away ambaye amechagua ufalme wa mbinguni one was made choice of the heavenly kingdom si kwamba dhambi hakuna iko not that there's no sin sin is there lakini ataikimbia but he will run away ndio pale paulo akasema kila umoja as the paul said everyone na uweze mwili wake mwenyewe to overcome his vessel katika heshima na utakatifu through honor and holiness uweze vipi how will you manage it ubaya utakuja evil will come lakini aliyechagua but one was made a choice ananeno pingeni shetani atatoroka has the one to oppose the devil then he'll run away haleluya haleluya aliyechagua one was made a choice mwili uko the body is there amaa ziko all the lust is there nguvu ya mabaya iko all the strength to evil is there lakini hataendea hayo mabaya but will not go to those evil things ana amechagua because he has made a choice I'm going to buy the paraffin. Ninarudi sasa. I'm coming back now. Na nyumba zimejengwa hapa na hapa hapa na hapa. The houses are very close to each other. Njia ni ndogo. The way is very small. Huko ni manyumba huko ni manyumba. There are houses on both sides. Wa mama wako kule mbele wawili wameoga wametoka wamefunga kazi. The ladies are there walking in front of me. Wako mbele yangu wanaenda. They before me walking. Walipoangalia nyuma wakaniona nani. When they look behind they saw me. Ndio wakashikamana mkono. So they held their hands. Na hiyo njia ni nyembamba wameijaza kabisa. Is very narrow. Ikawaza hao wanakusubiri gani? I thought what intention do they have? Kakumbuka neno missionary alifundisha. I remember the word that missionary taught one day. Watakuja waine. They'll come for. Waseme and say. Nataka tuite kwa jina lako. We want to be called by your name. Ni waine hao ni wangapi? Ni saba ni waine. Ni waine. Saba. Seven of them. Ni waine. Saba. Seven of them. Waseme sisi tutakula chakula chetu and say our meals na nguo ni zetu and the dresses are ours viatu ni vyetu and the shoes are ours lakini tuitwe wewe kwa jina lako but to be called by your name ami nilikuwa nikija hapa and i used to come here za mafundisho after closing the school i come for teachings na yasikiza i hear them tuseme ati hayo ni ya watu wazima i don't say that is meant for the old ati hao ni ya vijana that's meant for the youth napokea kila neno mwanzilishi analohubiri i receive every word that the founder is preaching na nikienda huko nje and when i go outside there nimejaa silaha i'm filled with weapons hata nikifikia kwa jambo when i get to something naona misha ndio anaongea huko i feel like missionary is preaching to me bila mungu kilipokea so when you receive the word of god sasa hii utaona halina kazi right now you see it's meaningless kuna mahali utakujiona anafanya kazi but there's a time you will see it working kaletewa kakumbusho wale I was reminded. Seven of them will come. We'll will dress but to be called by your name. Nami nimechagua. And I've made a choice. Dunia ni basi. It's enough for the world. Kama mimi nitakufa if I die bila kuzaa because I don't give birth. Maana tulikuwa tukizungumza na vijana wengine wanasema wewe ukiokoka because you to speak with my colleague boy they used to say when you are saved. Na una rafiki dunia hii. You don't have a love on this earth na unakula unakunywa and you are eating and drinking na ukae tu hivi and you just sit 
Without going outside there, you'll die. When I was pulled to salvation, I made a choice in my heart that if it means dying, let me die. But I'll never partake in the worldly love. I've made a choice. So this one's here. They've seen me now, they're holding their hands. What do they want? Hallelujah. Sin, it's a must for you to run away. You must run away from sin. It will never run away from you. Because the strength of the devil. But when the devil does, and whoever is able to secure for us not to stumble in everything, it is the Lord Jesus. He's the one with the power to those who have made a choice. We are not able on our own. We don't overcome for ourselves. The one overcome for us is the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tied my bottle very well. They are moving knowing there's no place for me to walk. And they started walking very slowly. Behind, I said to myself, Get steady. Be ready. Amen. Amen. Then I hit and separated their hands. Then go to the house. Well, me to angusha. Well, me to angusha. Drop us down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Me to angusha. Me to angusha. Drop us down. Hey, anguke ni. Okay, just fall down. Manam do ya fanya ni yakuwa mu anguke. Because whatever you are doing, you are meant to fall down. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If they would have chased me, they could not have seen me. Why do you receive everything that comes? Lies come, you receive. Discord comes, you receive. All of bitterness comes, you receive. Those to hate comes, you receive them. What have you chosen? Because the kingdom of heaven is not all this. It's righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. And whoever's made a choice will be diligent to have peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. What have you chosen? Whatever comes, you receive it. One of discord comes, you receive it. That of bitterness comes, you receive it. Hallelujah. No. Read for us again the same verse. He says, they are there, that of death are there, and for the curse are there, but you need to make a choice. You need to choose life. And choose life. To love the Lord God. And God is peace. God is joy. God is righteousness. Are you learning that? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The world, you can inherit the whole world and possess everything on earth. But that's not the kingdom of heaven. The kingdom of heaven is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Whatever, whichever place you are living, whoever has made the choice of the kingdom will separate himself from righteousness, will separate himself from things that don't bring peace and those that don't bring joy. I made a choice. Even today I still choose God of the founder, I thank him so much for strengthening me from, from the time I was a youth. Today I still mention the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Today, I'm strengthened to confess Jesus to be the Lord and the Savior of my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One was made a choice for him to get to things that will make him to fail to get to the kingdom. Then he partakes in them. He says, No. Even if they'll benefit him, 
Even if they make him eat a lot. Even if they make him eat and be satisfied all years. But they will not make him to please God. The one with the kingdom was chosen. He'll forsake all the eating. And all that satisfaction is will He'll be ready to go without food. Well, Truly, you are telling me to follow this word so that I may eat and drink and again I have all good things on earth. But now the kingdom of heaven will I inherit it? You'll see me refusing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he has made a choice. What have you chosen? Why do you partake in every matter? When lies come, you partake. Those of hatred come, you partake in them. Hallelujah. Your one was not made a choice. One was made a choice. We'll seek diligently. Even if bitterness comes, we'll seek diligently to have peace. Because you know bitterness doesn't please the Father God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he has made the choice of the kingdom. The present world today, everyone is diligent to have all the good things on earth. To have a good house and all good things on earth. It's very right for us to possess all that. Because we put on earth to inherit everything. But the kingdom of heaven is not that. The kingdom of heaven, God says, is not eating or drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy. You are sleeping under a tree, but your have peace and joy. You are learning to do righteousness. You have nothing against anybody. In eating feebleness, but in your heart, you have nothing against anybody. The kingdom of heaven is meant for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sabrina came here. They've come to visit us from Kampala, Uganda. They've come to greet our father. They are here. They are here. Amen. Amen. They fulfill the word love. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And because they are our brethren. Been separated because of the pandemic. But believe our God of the founder through the press of his servant Emmanuel K. Mzungu. All this will come to pass. We were put on earth. And the Lord Jesus said, Tribulation is there. Tribulation is there. Pains are there. Evil are there. Sin is there. But one was made a choice. We will seek for peace with all men. All that is there. But one was made a choice. In all the midst of that, we never partake in them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I thank God of the founder mother inside his servant. I made a choice. Whatever threatened me is a hell. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay. They say, I believe truly is there. The, the fight is there. Hallelujah. And when I was saved, that, that was the time I was very hot in the youth age. In 1976. Hallelujah. That's when I was very hot in the youth age. The blood is burning. Hallelujah. That's when the Lord Jesus snatched me. Hallelujah. Couldn't he have snatched me? And the, the strength I had of a cars. But the Lord Jesus snatched me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
I made a choice to follow God. And God saw me missing the way. I made a choice to follow the Lord Jesus. To seek the kingdom. But I missed the way. He saw me where I was. I'll never get the teachings to make me overcome the sin. I never stayed in religion for so many days. I saved in 1976, January 20th. Then in April I came here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I decided in my heart. If I'll die, let me die. Whether I never save anyone tomorrow, let me do so. My youth, my colleagues in such a place. The foolish one is here saying he's saved. And our homestead is very next to the road. Very next to the road. Hallelujah. The stupid one is here. He's saying he's saved. We are giving him one month. He's following ladies, not salvation. Because the same ladies when you want them, they ask you, they tell you you are Gentile. I'm sleeping, listening to them, he's stupid. We are, giving, we are giving him one month. He has not gone for salvation. He has followed girls. Okay. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So you follow them in salvation, they, they are full in our village. For I to follow them in church, and there are very many outside there. I said, You just say, You'll be tired. Just speak, but you'll be tired one day. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I saw an elder in Mombasa. The lights were off. He's praying to go to be saved from the police. But behind there, he knows people will say. He wrote, say, you'll get tired. He has loaded with the stones, the blocks, he's taking to people. In the bush, in the villages there. You don't want to, be, to say you are saved. When you hear one talking about you, from things you never partook, you start seeking wizards. Whether you say, you'll get tired. Hallelujah. So I started seeking for you. And I've written, you just speak, you'll get tired. I told my colleagues, say, Utachoka. speak, you'll get tired. Mimi ni I've made a choice Katika ujana wangu huu, in my youth to seek the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Semeni. Just speak, Utachoka. you'll get tired. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I thanked God. He strengthened me through the teachings that were given to missionaries and his preachers and with the elders here. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I was in church, never post any preacher. Every preacher who comes has come from missionary. I hear him. And then Kilif in secondary school Jumamos, on Saturday I know the preachers are passing by from noon Marafa, going to Marafa, Shingwaya at 8 I'm there waiting for them I have some coins with me I buy groundnuts for them before the bridge was constructed, there was a ferry there. I don't have much. But the little I have, I'm taught to do good. I know these are the people of God. The late Pastor Harry and the rest. And I knew the number of churches in Malindi. I'm in the morning on Saturday. I know now they are finished. The first to Bomani has gone. The one to Marafa has gone to. The one in Malindi has gone to. The churches are not many. The one to Shingwaya has gone. Hallelujah. Shingwaya too started later. But Marafa, Bomani, and Malindi, 
Wakiisha, when they are finished kila mmoja anampa packet ya, ya, ya njugu everyone i give a packet of ground nani bariko anasema kijana mungu akubariki they bless me and say young boy god bless kijana, you mungu akubariki young boy god bless you kijana mungu akubariki young boy god bless you kijana mungu akubariki young boy god bless you hallelujah hallelujah malizika when they are done naenda nyumbani i go home jua wameisha wamenibariki i don't know they are finished they blessed me hallelujah hallelujah wamutondia naye and that one was going to mtondia too nimechagua i've made a choice vita viko the war is there ngamizi ziko so many objections ni aliyechagua but one was made a choice tafuta amani will seek peace na haki and righteousness na furaha and joy najifurahisha kwa bwana i'm delighting myself in the lord i don't have much lakini yeye shilingi moja but the one shilling i have shilingi moja the one shilling i have moja ya njugu a packet of groundnuts marengene kuna machenza yameletwa machungwa times the tangerines are there the Mbia oranges i buy a tangerine for him to eat amen amen wakaniombea hao they prayed for me waliniombea they prayed for me na ndio maombi yao yanantia nguvu paka kesho and their prayers are still strengthening me amen. even tomorrow Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Najua waliniombea. I know they prayed for me. Waliniombea. They prayed for me. Tan nilipomaliza. In fact when I finished my school. Nilipokuja hapa. When I came here. Missionary akawa amepata report huko Kilifi. Missionary got a report that Kilifi. Kuna kijana anapenda Mungu wako. There's one boy who loves your God. Anaitwa nani? Anaitwa Rimba. Who is he called? He's called Rimba. Oh. Okay. Akasema ndio wewe unasema ndio. He said are you the one? Yes. Nimejaa kiburi. I feel the pride. Na jiona mimi ndio mimi kwa kila jambo. I feel I'm better in everything. Nimependa Mungu. I've loved God truly. Sijatakasika. But I'm not cleansed. Na usiniote kidole hata nimefanya mabaya. Don't point me and warn me. Maana mchonyi bado yuko hapo. Because the chonyi character is still in me. Ubiri yote. Preach all. Lakini ukitaka kuniambia mnyange yangu uniite kama. If you want to tell me my weaknesses separate me. I'm not safe from that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini nimechagua. But I've made a choice. Niko humo. I'm there. Katikati ya wale waokolewa. In the midst of those who are saved. Mmoja nikamfuata missionary kanisa ile ya kwanza hapa. One day I followed missionary to the first church. Mimi nina kiburi. I told me I have pride with me. Roho ya kujiona nafaa. This spirit of feeling better. Kanambia funga macho. He told me close your eyes brother. Kaniombea. He prayed for me. Hizo pale pale. During those days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wewe umechagua nini? What have you made a choice? Wewe unashiriki kila jambo. Why do you partake in every matter? Na Mungu alikuita akutakase. And God call you to cleanse you. Ili urithi ufalume. So that you may inherit the kingdom. Hakuna dhambi. There's no sin. Wala nguvu ya dhambi. Or the strength of sin. Bwana Yesu hawezi kukuokoa. The Lord Jesus is not able to save you from. Aliyechagua. One who has made a choice. Afichi unyonge. He doesn't hide his weakness. Anasema ndugu. He say brother. Mimi nimeshindwa. I'm defeated here. Hili siliamini hili. I don't believe in this one here. Man anataka kuamini because he wants to believe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lakini wao wanataka ni mazuri tu. But you want to be spoken good of everything. Na Yesu alikuja hapo ndio kwa wazuri. And Jesus came not for Bwana good people. Bwana Yesu alikuja. The Lord Jesus came. Kuokoa wenye dhambi. To save the sinners. Ndugu wewe dada wewe usiku mnyonge. Now brother or sister you don't want to be told any weakness. Wewe hujachagua. You have not made a choice. Hujachagua ufalume. You have not chosen the kingdom. Aliyechagua ufalume wa Mungu. What was the choice of the kingdom of heaven? Hata si lazima atoe kidole. It's not for it must for him to be pointed. Hata anapowaza. When he's thinking. Hukumu inamjia wewe umewaza. The condemnation comes. Na amechagua ufalume wa Mungu. Because he has chosen the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wewe umechagua nini? What have you chosen? Petro na Johana wakachagua. Peter and John chose. Wakapigwa viboko kutoka saa hii. They were struck from this time. Usinene habari za Yesu tena. Don't speak about the affairs of Jesus. Wakasema angalie ni nini. They said look upon us. Kama ni haki si tunyamaze. If it's right for us to keep quiet. Unena habari za tulemuona akiokoa Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Speak the affairs of God who saved us Jesus. Hivyo viboko havikuwatisha. The strikes never threatened them. Waache kunena habari za Yesu. For them to forsake speaking the affairs of Jesus. Wakasema they say angalie ni ninyi look upon yourself kama ni haki sisi tunyamaze it's right for us to keep quiet sinene habari za Yesu not to speak about the reports of Jesus maneno tuliyoyaona the words we saw na kuyasikia and heard tunyamaze we keep quiet 
Look upon yourselves. But we'll never forsake it. We'll never forsake it. We'll never forsake it. Because this matter here is pleasing God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because they've made a choice of the kingdom of heaven. Why do you forsake the word of God? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You forsake giving alms on Sunday. This one has not made a choice. And this matter is pleasing God. Amen. Amen. But the Lord enabled me to make a choice. From the time I was a youth, I had so many burdens. And so many objections on earth. But the one who has made a choice, that one will never threaten him to go contrary and not please to God. He says, choose life, loving the Lord your God, so that you may inherit the land that God promised your forefathers. But the servant of God says, no, no, every time, we are traveling. We are traveling. And always traveling is never tired. So long as he has not reached to his destiny. Hallelujah. Read for us. Romans 14, 17. And he says, The kingdom of heaven, dear. He's saying it's not eating and drinking, but joy, peace, and joy, and righteousness. The present world is seeking for eating and drinking. It's very right to have good houses and have all good things and have all good things on earth. It is our right to have all that on earth because we are put on earth to have the worldly things. But one was made a choice of the heaven. You'll have all that but you'll never value them in your heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He'll be diligent to do righteousness. And seek diligently to have peace with all men. Because he you knows this is a kingdom. Doing righteousness. And seeking peace with all men. A girl was made a choice. Know that you want to be followed, whispered, or seduced. But one was made a choice. One was made a choice. One was made a choice. No. You'll ever see her partaking in that. Eating and drinking. The strength is there. Because she is alive. But she'll not partake in that. Because she has chosen the heavenly kingdom. Read for us. Mana ufalme wa mungu Sikula wala kunywa, bali ni haki na amani na furaha katika roho mtakatifu. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. One was made the choice of the kingdom of heaven. Will seek peace na haki and righteousness na furaha. and joy. For him to get to tribulation, he's delighting himself in the Lord. Even if you get to something so difficult, he's seeking to have peace. For one to wrong him, so ill to be done to him, but he'll seek for peace. You don't see him hating and even boycott his neighbor or brother and not to greet him anymore. He knows that doesn't please God. He knows God is love. He said we love each other. Whoever loves his neighbor. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's not doing evil or bad things to him. Because he knows if I stay with the hatred to, to the my neighbor, the continual city I'll not inherit it. I'm truly eating, I'm drinking, and everything I have. But he said that is not the kingdom. The kingdom of heaven is righteousness and peace and joy. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven is righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And whoever has made a choice, that kingdom has separated himself from evil. He's separating for those who are not to evil. What less things are there? Evil is there. Those not to save are there. Those to bring hatred are there. But he'll separate himself because seeking for the heavenly kingdom. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he says, choose life. Loving the Lord your God. Loving the Lord your God. And God is love. And love perseveres all. Believes in all. Will never partake evil. He doesn't envy. It's rejoicing with those who rejoice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It believes all. Going without food and being satisfied. And when hunger comes, he knows this one will not stop me from getting to the kingdom. He has peace. Peace with all men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You see him sad. But he's speaking very ill because he's failed to eat. He knows even if I eat and drink, that's not the kingdom. He has peace with all people. He can, he can think maybe he has eaten, he's satisfied, but he has joy. You think maybe he's sleeping in a good place because he's happy. You think maybe it's coming from a story building because he knows even if I sleep in a poor place that won't stop me from getting to the kingdom of heaven. Because the kingdom of heaven is peace and joy and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. That's why Hosea the house is falling I dug the potholes in the house but when I stand here I praise God I shed tears in me knowing that even if I inherit all good things that's not the kingdom. God forgive me and save me. You see me lacking peace because I don't have anything good. I delight myself in the Lord every time. When God saw better for me to get out of the money house, some followed me. All this year, I had not constructed the house. Because I was happy, rejoicing. I see if I possess everything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It sounds like I, I come from a story building. Yet I've covered the house with pulp and papers. I'm delighted in the God of the founder. I'm peace in God of the founder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But through that peace and that joy, God so better this one deserves to sleep in a good place. Because he doesn't mama, he doesn't blame, because living in a muddy house is happy and delighted. He has peace. Hallelujah. Because I made a choice. I never followed the house in this church. I never came for good things. I came here to seek for salvation and go to heaven. And Jesus said, Seek ye first the kingdom of heaven, and all the rest the Lord will give you. Why do you lack peace because you don't have good things on earth? Because you are eating very feeble. You are sleeping in a place you don't deserve, maybe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So when you fail to be happy and fail to do righteousness, that's not, you are contrary and outside the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because you fail to get good things on earth, eating and drinking, and sleeping in a good place, so you lack to be joyful and murmuring, and you don't have peace, you don't do righteousness. So the kingdom of heaven is not meant for you. And the good things you want are brought by God. When you fail to be joyful, you are bitter, 
So God is not close to you. But God is next to those who are joyful and peaceful. Even if they live in poor places. Though they don't eat good. Though they don't sleep in an honorable place. But they have joy. Believing God who called me to inherit his kingdom. I'll get all that. They'll not make me enter the kingdom. It's your right to possess all that. But doesn't need to deny you joy. They don't deny you to do righteousness. Hallelujah. Said, so you had not constructed yet. How do you see me? They say, yeah. So you have a very great faith. It's loving God. You wanted me to sit down and mourn and ask me, brother, what's wrong with you? Okay. At home, the house is falling off cover with poison papers. So you see me now, maybe the children are outside. I'm joyful. I know even if I inherit everything, that's not the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't commit sin to God for failing to be happy and peace because you failed the good things on earth. The worldly things are passing. The clouds and the sky are passing. Hallelujah. The world and the sky, they are passing. But the kingdom is permanent forever and ever. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. The kingdom of heaven is not eating or drinking, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. Do you have peace when you go without food? Not knowing that you have the kingdom of heaven. So long as you have peace with you, you have joy with you. Joy. 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 Peace. Hallelujah. Difficulties are there, but you have peace in God. You have joy in God. You are learning to do righteousness. In the little you have, you are learning to do righteousness. Our God will work. God says, you have the kingdom with you, you will get it. And he says, one with such hope will inherit life. Hallelujah. All with such hope that has made a choice, has made a choice, he has failed to eat and failed to be happy. You'll see him permanently doing righteousness. In the little he has, he'll permanently be doing righteousness. Hallelujah. So, you should know we are here. We are traveling. We are traveling. We are traveling. We are traveling. Seeking for the continual city. Forever and ever and ever. Those who inherit that home are the ones with peace and joy and doing righteousness in the Holy Ghost. The present world today is looking for the worldly things. We'll see people fighting and insulting each other. They are competing for the worldly things. To eat and drink and sleep in a good place and possess all the land on earth. But that's not the kingdom. You'll get them truly and have them. But it says it's not eating and drinking. The kingdom of heaven is righteousness and peace and joy. In the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven is not eating and drinking, but peace and righteousness and joy in the Holy Spirit. Do you have peace and joy? One was made the choice of the kingdom. One was chosen. One was chosen. 
has joy every time. He's delighting himself in the Lord. He's delighting himself in the Lord. Hallelujah. Romans 12:8. Romans 12, 18. Kama ya mkini, kwa upande wenu, mkae katika amani na watu wote. Wapenzi msijilipize kisasi, bali ipisheni gadhabu ya mungu. Mana imeandikwa, kisasi ni juu yangu mimi. Mimi nitalipa, anena buwana. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men, dearly beloved. Avenge not yourselves, but rather give place to wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine, I will repay, say the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Anasema kama ya mkini, he says if it's possible, haupande wenu. Mukae katika amani, you live in peace, na watu wote. With all men. Mtu wa mekufanyia mabaya, one has wronged you, ametukutalana, amekutukana, has insulted you, just feel to honor you as you ought to be honored. You seek religion to have peace with that person. Don't pay vengeance. Vengeance is for the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The meaning is seek religion to have peace. One was made a choice will seek religion to have peace. He doesn't pay vengeance but in every matter that is done to him by the neighbor is seeking for peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why when the Lord Jesus was insulted, he says, he never paid back evil. He dedicated the one who judges. That's why when death came, it never overcame him. He came out of the tomb. Because he's never lived with evil to God's anybody. When insulted, when he's parted on, He's so diligent to have peace with all men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he knew where he came from and where he's heading to. And he had made a choice the kingdom of the Father God. And he has come on earth to save us, to be our leader. He's insulted. The grave of the tomb never overcame him. Why are you doing evil? Because evil has done to you. Why do you have war? Because war has come upon you. One who has chosen the kingdom, even if it's wrong, even if it's peck on ill of, he will seek to have peace with all men. Because that is the kingdom. That's why it says, in all brethren, you live in peace, with all men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you can see a saved person. Doesn't greet a neighbor. Your neighbor to say hi because it, it has done. As a saved person, he is proclaiming Jesus to be the Lord. But he doesn't have peace. The kingdom of heaven is peace and joy and righteousness in the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's how you can see. You are praying for so many things. You are praying for many. They don't come. Because the kingdom of heaven is not in you. When you fail to be at peace, when you fail to be joyful, that you don't have the kingdom. How will you call God to give you the kingdom things? And healing is the word of the kingdom. Being blessed is the word of the kingdom. And in you don't have the kingdom. Because you are filled with bitterness. And blaming. And murmuring. That's not the kingdom. That's why you say you pray for many things. Because you are very far from the kingdom of heaven. How will you call the things of the kingdom? And in you don't have the kingdom. Therefore the Lord Jesus and told him. Tell us when the kingdom of heaven comes. Don't seek for the kingdom of heaven. Hallelujah. 
Nataka niwaambie utakuja lini? You want me to tell you the oh, time it will come? Ufalume. The kingdom uko ndani yenu. It's in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Walimuuliza siku moja bwana Yesu. They call me one time the Lord Jesus. Walimuuliza unatoka wapi? Where does the kingdom of heaven come from? Na utakuja lini? And when will it come? Unatoka wapi? Where will it come? Ambia ah. He said no. You want to know where the kingdom of heaven will come from? It is in you. If you have peace and joy and doing righteousness, that is the kingdom. You are inside. Hallelujah. Do you have the kingdom in you? Hallelujah. When you are one with peace and you doesn't pay vengeance to your brother you are peace with all men and you are learning to do righteousness so you have the kingdom in him and whatever you pray for God will do it and one was made a choice to inherit the kingdom of heaven will be diligent in these things will seek diligent to have peace with all men If you see today, you, you lack peace because you get to things that don't bring peace. When you get to discord or backbiting, you backbite. You've not chosen the kingdom. Hallelujah. One was chosen. Even if those that don't bring peace come to him, he will seek diligently to have peace. Because he knows lacking peace, living in hatred, and living in lies and discord that's not the kingdom hallelujah they asked tell us when the kingdom will come from. and when will the kingdom come okay tell you it will come tomorrow tomorrow or, tomorrow or next year it is in you hallelujah hallelujah we are here because there is one who had the kingdom in him filled with love and peace and doing righteousness missionary found a mother that's why you are here because they had the kingdom in them if for you to do ill evil things he says I don't despair with anyone even if he's so evil I don't give up with him so long as he's alive this person I know God can change him says, brother come we go to town he knows you are weak truly but there's one you are saved in He has peace with you. He doesn't hate you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's teaching so that you may feel the condemnation in you. Because he used to say, I'm here backing. So don't say, where did he hear the word from? Take your portion and repent in that. He has peace with all men. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven made us to be pulled and followed. Read for us again the same. Maana ufalme wa Mungu si kula wala kunywa, bali ni haki na amani na furaha katika Roho Mtakatifu. For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. Luke 17:20 na alipoulizwa na mafarisayo ufalme wa Mungu utakuja lini aliwajibu akawambia, ufalme wa Mungu hauji kwa, kuchu, kwa kuchunguza wala hawatasema tazama upo huku au kule kwa maana tazama ufalme wa Mungu umo ndani yenu And when he was demanded of the Pharisees when the kingdom of God shall come he answered them and said the kingdom of God cometh not with observation neither shall they say lo here for behold the kingdom of God is within you Amen Amen Wakamuuliza they asked him Falme wa Mungu utakuja lini Kingdom of God where will it come Ile anga tuwe nao na sisi so that we may also possess it tupate and have it He said, no, the kingdom of God doesn't come through observation. 
Wala hawata sema uko huku au kule. Nini uko umekuja? It's here or there. Uko ndani yako ndugu ufalme wa mbinguni? Is the new brother the kingdom of heaven? Uko ndani yangu uko ndani ya kila mmoja? Is inside me and everybody. Ile amani uliona. The peace you have. Ile furaha uliona. The joy you have. Ile haki uliona. The righteousness you do. Huo ndio ufalme. That is the kingdom. Haya ita lolote lile. Okay, call for anything. Bwana atafanya. The Lord will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Uko ndani yako. The kingdom is in you. Unapojitenga na mabaya. When you separate yourself from evil. Na kutakabidi kwa na amana wa watu wote. Seeking the unity of peace with all men. Na kutukiza unamsamehe. One was offended you forgive him. Wasufalme wa mbinguni uko ndani yako. That way the kingdom of heaven is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ndio anasema. That's why he says. Ninyi mkikaa ndani yangu. When you abide in me. Na maneno yangu yakaa ndani yenu. My words to abide in you. Sasa ufalme uko ndani yenu. Now the kingdom is in you. Hayo mbeni lolote mtakalo. Ask for anything you want. Bwana atafanya. The Lord will do it. Ndio unaweza kuona. So you can see today. Bwana anaomba hili alifanyiki. I pray for this one it's not happening. Bwana hapafanyiki uzima. Life is not coming here. Uzima. Life. Atoka kwa Mungu. Comes from God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah kwa Mungu. It comes from God. Na Mungu ni amani. And God is peace. Mungu ni upendo. God is love. Mungu ni haki. God is righteousness. Mungu ni furaha. God is joy. Una mahali una furaha? There's a point you don't have joy. Na mahali hujasamehe. There's a point you have not forgiven. Na mahali hujaachilia. There's a point you have not let it go. Wale mamiguni hauko kwako. So you don't have the kingdom with you. Lakini wakauliza. But they asked. Ungoje yeye ujali ni? Should we wait when will it come? Ambao uko katikati yenu. He told them it is in your midst. It is in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven is in you. When you have peace and joy and forgiving each other and esteeming the other better, peace with all men. And peace lives one who has chosen. There are so many that want to bring peace. When you choose the kingdom, know that objections will not come. Know that you won't have any deficit with you. But one who has chosen the kingdom is permanent in peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's permanent to be one of peace. Joy in his heart. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Akijua, Knowing hapa, when I felt to be joyful here and lack peace here, the kingdom of heaven is not closer to me. The kingdom of heaven yako, is in you and, yangu, and inside me If you seek the unity to be one of peace. That's why he was prayed for here. Asthma is not healed. Tuberculosis is not healed. I don't have peace. I'm filled with murmuring. I see people don't love me. I want to be pronounced in everything. And I confess the curse. Confessing. My sins. I stayed here every day. But I'm prayed for I don't get to perfect life. Because the life is the kingdom of heaven. That the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I was surprised. I stay here in counseling till I'm proud of it. But I don't get the perfect life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't have peace. I don't have peace. Hata missionary anaponya mtu. When missionary is warning one. I feel him to be oppressing. You would have called him aside. Okay, now, why is he warning him before people? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I followed him in office. He told me, wait, I'll call you later. I told him, wait, I'll call you later. I told him, I don't have peace. When you want a brother before the colleagues, In me, I feel, you would have called him aside. He said, Brother Rimba, whatever you hate now, the way we want each other here, openly for one to be saved, that you feel you are going wrong. As you see, this brother has been blessed. And the kingdom of peace has made in this brother. And that way, Pastor Sami, the late, was my translator. You see this brother? shining here. You see this brother shining here. The shining that you don't have it's because of the warning we do that you don't have peace with it. As we knew no kingdom is happening for you to get the blessings you have and the perfect healing we have. Hallelujah. It's until you have peace with the way we want each other and the way we teach each other 
That is the kingdom of heaven. You told me, brother, go and pray. God to enable you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To have peace with these teachings. And the way we want each other here. We'll inherit the blessings we have. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm very far from the kingdom. Because I did not choose. God enabled me to choose. To choose being warned. To choose. For it to be spoken very openly. The founder never had such a heart. He can testify as a parable. And say there's a brother was this side. Mangoloto. Mangoloto. Okay. Till you think truly Mangoloto. I say truly it's not Mangoloto, it's me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because he knows. God says, Give all their dues. Honor to whom honor. He has wronged truly. But even he has wronged. But he deserves the honor. If you speak to him openly, will he be saved? He gives a parable. There was a brother there. But this and this and this happened. Such, a, such a issues are they okay? He look at you. They sound like they are mine. Amen. Amen. He's honoring everyone. He has peace with all men. Eventually you will see people being saved and we are the ones here today. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, salvation means that one, one was chosen the kingdom of heaven. We will seek diligently to have peace with all men. For him to fail to eat good and not to eat good, you will see him joyful every time. Hallelujah. And the peace, not having anything against anybody, a, very, a heart that has forgiven and that has been forgiven. Ile, ile amani, the peace furaha, and the joy haki, and the righteousness. That's where God dwells. You see, whatever you pray for, Mungu God does it. Because God is peace furaha, and joy haki. and righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kawambia, That's why I told them. Don't seek when the kingdom will come. The kingdom is in you. You have the kingdom in you, brother. The meaning is, do you have peace? So everyone to watch himself. And tell the Lord, enable me to choose peace. Because that is the kingdom. Give me the strength to be your child. Joy every time. Hallelujah. Because salvation means making a choice. Salvation means yes, making a choice. Those not to bring peace are there. Those of joy are not there. But one was chosen will seek diligently to have peace. As Paul said, seek diligently. I was told, Rimba, this disease is asthma. Doesn't need to be one, you don't need to be one who is murmuring. You should be one of peace. One has wronged you. You have been called ill of, but you should have peace. I just told God, help me. I was not one of peace. I was never a child of peace. I've chosen now. Through the way of choosing, God strengthened me. Today, whatever you tell me, even if I go without food, you won't know I've gone without food. Hallelujah. God also gave me the children. For him to scream, because he's eaten porridge only. Whatever they're given by their mother, they are comfortable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wote, wote, wote. All of them. For, for them to wish to have good things, where was they to come? But I was taught peace for choosing. For how long will I live with one of them? The Lord enabled me to be a child of peace. Lord enabled me to be a child of peace. Save me from murmuring. I ask my soul to be one of peace. I thank God of the founder. Today I don't sleep with anyone against anybody. 
the whole day. So where has that, that one done that? No, I sleep very soundly. And from that day to day, I chose peace and as my went away. Today I sleep peacefully. I don't have anything against anybody. What have you chosen? Why can you sit down and speak one to hate the other from your colleague sister? And they don't even greet her. So you don't have the kingdom. Choose today peace. Choose peace today. Choose joy. Choose. Because the kingdom of heaven, they ask the Lord Jesus, when should we wait for? It is in you and I when you are a child of peace. I ask you to stand up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you are a child of peace, when you know to love each other, choose to love each other, and choose peace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The kingdom of heaven will be in our when we pray for each other because there's no one who condemns the other. There's no one who blames the other. There's no one who has war with the other. We see, pray for each other because the kingdom is in us. We have chosen peace. The Lord of peace will be together with us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I ask you to lose our eyes. Ulia mtoa Yesu mwana wa pekee kuja chini ya jua atuokoe sisi baba. Asante Mungu wa mwanzilishi kwa neno lako. Umeona bwana. Tunatafuta mengi. Madogo madogo yanatushinda. Leo hofu imejaa ndani ya mioyo ya wengi. Hawaoni mema. Hawaoni mema. Maana ndani mwao ufalme wa mbinguni hauko. Badala ya amani umejaa vita. Badala ya furaha umejaa uchungu. Baba seme maana ukawape watu wako kuchagua mema wawe waliochagua bwana maana uwezo wa kutuokoa uko mikononi mwako bwana Yesu hakuna uwezo kujigeuza mwenyewe uwezo wa kutuokoa sisi baba unao wewe ni vile ndugu yule hajachagua amani hajachagua furaha hajachagua amani hajachagua furaha maana kuokoka ni kuchagua Paulo uliwapa kuchagua Yohana ukampa kuchagua. Baba tujalie kila mmoja. Kuchagua mema, kuchagua kuwa mwana wa amani ya ugomvi yako, ya fitina yako, dhambi iko chini ya jua, lakini aliyechagua wewe una uwezo wa kumtakasa. Maana Bwana ulisema, yeye awezaye kutuokoa sisi, ni wewe Mungu mkuu. Uwezaye kutulinda dunia hii tusijikwae, tutembee katika haki. Lakini nguvu hizo Unazimwaga kwa walio chagua. Wenye kutaka kule moyoni. Wachaguao amani. Wachaguao furaha. Unatia furaha mioni mwao. Mana Mungu ni pendo. Mjalia yule ndugu yule dada. Kuchagua amani. Badala ya vita na ugomvi, kuchagua amani. Mana Bwana ulisema tupendane. Na siyependa ndugu yake ulimuita muuaji. Na uwezo wa kupakupenda watoka kwako bwana. Wewe ni amani na ulisema baba tufurahi siku zote katika mabaya katika mema na kwa kila aliyechagua furaha hiyo unaitia ndani maana tuko hapa chini ya jua tunashindana na nguvu za giza amejaa usungu ndugu yule na jirani yake maana haelewi hatuna mashindano na ndugu na dada mashindano yetu ni kwa nguvu za giza uchungu uko ndani ya ndugu yule si kwamba ni mubaya Ni shetani ametia nguvu hizo tupe kuchagua kupendana uwezo unao bwana wa kutupa kuishi watu wa amani na furaha na haki kwa kila aliyechagua Sante baba kutenda kutimiza hebu ndugu mpendwa brethren, wewe umechagua nini What have you chosen Mwana wewe zakosa amani na ndugu yako Apumwae pumuzi kama wewe breathing like you Hata muwazie visivyo Do you think ill of him Hata ukose salamu And you fail to greet him the kingdom of heaven is not true. Chagua amani, chagua furaha. Choose peace and joy. Chagua haki. Choose righteousness. Chagua furaha. Choose joy. Maana kuokoka ni kuchagua. Because salvation means making choice. Na uwezo wa kutakasa sisi una Mungu. And the power is with God. Uwezo wa kutakasa sisi uko na Mungu. The power to cleanse us is with God. Mungu wetu mkuu. Our mighty God. Ana uwezo wa kufanya ushinde. Has the power to make you defeat. Kujaa furaha na watu wote. And have peace with all men. Amani na watu wote. Peace with all men. Uwezo huo uko na Bwana Yesu.
That power is with the Lord Jesus. To him was chosen. Tell the Lord Jesus. I live in bitterness. I live in war. I live in wrangles. Because I have not chosen righteousness. Enable me. Lord. To choose good. To choose peace. To choose joy. To choose righteousness. So that your kingdom. To dwell in me. Enable me to choose joy. To be one was chosen. Joy with all men. Peace with all men. Doing righteousness so that your kingdom to dwell in me. And when your kingdom is in you, the kingdom of God to be in you. Because you are peace with all men. You are joy with all men. You are learning to do righteousness. What will you pray for not God not to do? Let's pray to God. Tuwezi bwana kujiokoa wenyewe. Atuokoaye ni wewe baba wa mbinguni. Ndugu yule hajachagua. Hajachagua amani. Ndio maana anaishi dhambini. Maana uwezo wa kutuokoa una wewe baba Mungu wa Mungu. Kujalie kila mmoja kuchagua amani. Kujalie kila mmoja kuchagua furaha. Maana ufalme wa mbinguni ni amani na furaha na haki. Wajalie watu wako bana kuchagua. Kwa sababu umetuweka chini ya jua. Umetuweka chini ya jua. Kutafuta muji udumuo wa mbinguni. Hajaweza ndugu yule maana hajachagua. Yusufu alichagua. Ayubu akachagua. Wajalie bwana watu wa kuchagua. Chagua. Uwezo wa kutua kwa na wewe baba wa Mungu. Ana haja ya mengi ya Amen. 
Yusufu akachagua. Joseph chose. Kimbia da. To run away from sin. Dambi iko duniani. The sin is there on earth. Baya yako duniani. Evil is there on earth. But we need to make a choice. Na chagua ye. And one who chooses. Uwezo na the power comes. When will the kingdom of heaven come? They were told it is in you. He's dwelling in one who has made a choice. Very wrong things are demanded to him. But he has chosen to be one of peace. To be called stupid. Because he has been salted and is keeping quiet. Because he has chosen. Hallelujah. We can't save our own selves. But the power to make us to overcome the world come to one who has made a choice. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Who says from today, I'll never insult. I'll never fight my husband. You've chosen that way. You've chosen that way. You've chosen peace. The power will come. Hallelujah. You've chosen peace. You've said it's enough. It's enough. Lies is enough. The power comes from the Lord Jesus to those who have made a choice. Hallelujah. How will I manage this world? And the world is full of evil and good. A world of temptations. The power will never come to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We've come to the end of our service. I ask you to lose our eyes. Pastor Changote to fungi ibada. Pastor Changote to close the service with a word of prayer. Mungu liendane aptumishu wako. Ume tuona baba. Tuko kanisani kweli. Lakini hatuja chagua. Tumekuwa kanisani lakini hatujachagua amani bado tulikuwa tumechagua chuki uchungu na hasira bana Yesu na kushukuru kwa sababu wewe natupenda umetupa baba hilo neno ili tukaweze kuchagua amani tukaweze kuchagua baraka ili tukaweze kuona wema wako baba asante Mungu wa mwanzilishi kwa neno lako baba umeanza pamoja nasi Hivi sasa tumefika kikomo baba ninakuomba ukafinike nyumba ya mwanzilishi wako ukaifinike na utukufu wako nyumba ya mtumishi wako ukaifinike na utukufu wako baba tazama tunaenda kufumukana baba ukaturejeshe sehemu tuliyotoka kwa amani na tuendelee kutafakari hilo neno la kuchagua hayo mema bali si kuchagua mabaya Asante Mungu wa mwanzilishi kutenda baba fumuka pamoja nasi ukaweze kuwa, kuwa pamoja nasi Asante baba kutenda Asante baba kasome na kutimiza ni katika jina la Yesu Kristo mkombozi wetu meomba Amen Asante bwana Yesu Asante bwana Mungu wa mwanzilishi atubariki sote